It's a dream come true, man. Have my own shoes. I was a fan of these from the beginning. These are very rare. The hunt to get them is the best part. You keep one to rock and one to stop. What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex, and as you can see, we're in another celebrity's crazy sneaker closet. This time we're in Jersey with giant star wide receiver Victor Cruz. There's a lot of heat behind me and to the side, and uh, he's going to break it down, and then we're going to talk about a special shoe that's coming out really soon. Special shoe. Stick around. Let's do it. So, Vic, this isn't a normal closet. <laughs> How long from idea to execution did this take and when did you have the idea to have a sneaker closet like this? Um, it took about a year to get everything from, from ideation to, to making it real um, and I just wanted a place to kind of put the shoes first. I had it backlit, the type of wood that we chose to exemplify the shoes. You know, I wanted to make the shoes the priority and I think, um, I think we accomplished that. These shelves seem like it's kind of Nike running throughout the years. Mm -hmm. You have Parachis, you have the training, the Agassiz, and then this year, a standout silhouette is the sock dart. Mm -hmm. Talk about these fragments and how much wear have they got? Oh, they! I wear these almost every chance I get, man. Weekends, going in and out to, to work and, and to the stadium and stuff like that, mainly because they're so light. Yeah. Um, but the silhouette is still fly. Like you can still wear them with your, you know, your Nike Tech Pack and your yep. and your sweatsuits and things like that, and it's still a fly shoe. And the midsole is great. Um, and I think Fragment killed it with this colorway. One thing I saw was the Pagal LeBrons. Yeah. Now I noticed that you have GRs, but you also have super exclusive sneakers. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of both? Uh, I'm an extreme fan of both. I love the exclusive sneaker. I love, it's more the hunt for me. I like right. I like the hunt for the shoe. Once you get the shoe, it's cool you wear them and you know your friends love you and all of that good stuff. But the hunt to get them is what is the best part. Because as you know, although I'm a Nike athlete, all these sneakers aren't necessarily just sent to my house. Some are, some aren't. The hunt for those that have been great and those Pagal uh, uh, LeBrons are, are really, really good. How many pairs of sneakers do you wear a week? I wear about about two to three shoes a day. Wow. I go through many moods throughout a day. Since we're in the Air Force One section, uh, one of my favorite collabs, maybe of all time, are the uh, Ricardo Tishi Nike Air Force One collab. Um, killed it. He killed these, mainly because of just the materials that he used, the premium leather, almost like the horse saddle leather that he used on these. Um, and just when you think, you know, they couldn't do any more to an Air Force One, he comes with this design and just and just really, really killed it. You have a special connection with Tishi and Givenchy, obviously, being the face of the new campaign. Isn't it crazy to see how all the worlds kind of connect? It's insane, man, and it's, see, it, it's great to see how it's grown, too, mm -hmm. because even five years ago or 10 years ago, you'd never see Givenchy doing a collaboration with Nike or any of those higher end brands doing a collaboration with Nike. And to come full circle and be the face of the campaign for this fall season, and uh, it's just a dream come true, man. And it's, it's good to see sneakers are at the forefront of that. So let's talk about foams. You have okay. foams here, you have KDs, LeBrons up there, but some that really caught my eye, these Supreme foams. Yeah. These, uh, these came from a, uh, a source that won't be named. Okay. <laughs> um, but these came from that source, man. And I thought, you know, Supreme just did a really good job of being minimal on mm -hmm. these. And they just put their logo on the side, mm -hmm. on both sides. And the clear bottom is always an easy sell for me. Um, and I think they just killed it. Phone positive have been a little tricky for me, man. They've, they've, sometimes they've gone left and I know yeah. the kids love them, but certain pairs, certain silhouettes um, still piqued my interest and this was one. The real reason and yeah. the real special shelf in here mm -hmm. is right here. It's right here, man. It's, uh, it's your the, first signature shoe. Yeah, the Air Trainer Cruise, uh, or, or as the kids call them, the Air Cruises. It's a dream come true, man, to be honest, to have my own shoe, to have my own, you know, not just have a shoe that someone took, an existing shoe, and put my name on it, but to build a shoe from yeah. nothing, from the all the elements that I loved in shoes, and then to see it come to life in the colorways and how it, in the luxury aspect of it, and, the way it looks, it just it just came out great, man. Talk about the colorways a little bit. Okay. Which do you have a favorite? So this is my favorite. Okay. Um, this is gonna be uh, one of the quick strike pairs, um, and this one pays homage to my dad. So my dad uh, passed away almost nine years ago now, and uh, this pays homage to him on the inside, where it says in memory of Mike, which mm -hmm. was my dad's name. 
Um, and then on the back strap, it has a nine, which was my high school jersey football number. So I wanted that to be, you know, a part of the story. And my dad was very influential in my life. He taught me how to play football. He taught me the ins and outs of playing the game, about being a man, about being accountable for your, you know, your acts and things you do. And I wanted to pay homage to that in the shoe. And this is uh, one of my one of my favorite colors. There's also like 3M piping in the straps and mm -hmm. in the on the top layer and in the sole. Um, which we kind of got from the Jordan 5, so it's um, it, it's some cool detail on that. One. The thing that I noticed is that February, you know, something big usually happens in football in February, mm -hmm. and it just so happens that the blue colorway is really the homage to the Giants. Yes, obviously, we all know I play for the best organization in football, which is the New York Football Giants, and uh, the all blue colorway is exemplary to that, um, and they come out Super Bowl weekend, so hopefully. The Giants are there, and I'm walking into the stadium in Santa Clara, California, to play in the big show. We've seen trainers, we've seen Air Force Ones, we saw your shoe, but I notice there's no Jordans in here. Well, if you take a quick walk over here to the right, Joe, okay. we'll be in the Jordan section. So, Vic. We're in the Jordan closet. Yep. Talk about some other rare ones you have. The Oregon ones are given to me by an undisclosed source. <laughs> um, that's been the theme of the day, but these are obviously super hard to get, super hard to come by, um, and I was fortunate enough to get them. But obviously the three silhouette just looks good in any color, with any logo, I mean, all of that good stuff. We see ones, we have a lot of special makeups. Which mm -hmm. ones on this wall are your favorites? Um, I gotta go with the, with the UK release wow. only. Um, red on red uh, Jordan ones. I mean these the quality from the suede on the on the toe box to the suede on the collar I mean it's just uh, one also one of my favorite silhouettes and favorite colorways. We see some rare fives, bin fives, Oregon fives. They're definitely one of my favorites. I think it's a great silhouette. These are the Oregon the Oregon fives and um, just the all green colorway has always been significant of Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, you got the bin fives here who, uh, you know, these are very rare. They, they come limited, so they have, uh, they're numbered on the inside of how many pairs that, that uh, they actually made, around 2,100 pair. Um, and I have one of those. <laughs> and the Oregon 4s, obviously, Crazy. super yeah. sought after, and I've worn them a couple times, but now it might be time to put these back on ice for a little while so I could <laughs> let them chill. But obviously, these are one of my favorites as well. Um, and yeah, man, these are super exclusive, and, and it's pretty dope. Do you wear every single pair in the closet? Is there any that you would not wear? Um, I, I would. There's a few that I would not wear, but you have to have. Like if we take a step back and go to the Jeez. the Dornbacher yeah. Jordan Eights. Crazy. Um, I know. Obviously, the the message behind the shoe is, is an amazing one. Hence why I have the shoe. Hence why I paid for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but this just isn't a shoe I would wear. Right. Um, this just you know it's a little loud. It's stuff for the kids. The kids love them. But this isn't a shoe that I would wear. But it's it's definitely. Uh, paying much respect to the kids. So Vic, out of the corner of my eye, I see you have the OVO yeah. tens. Yep. How do you feel about what Drake's doing with Jordan? Um, I think he's doing a good job, man. I think he's done a good job. Obviously, the entire OVO brand is very less is more, mm -hmm. um, and, and the quality, as you can see, with the detail and stuff like that. So I was a fan of these from the beginning, and I know he's got a couple more, a uh, couple more colorways, a couple more pairs coming out of different, uh, different Jordans. So. I'm excited to see those come out. Shout out to Drake. Now let me ask you, some of these you love so much that I'm guessing you have doubles? Yes. Do you keep only one in the closet and then the doubles are somewhere else? Yes, I keep, as as the kids say when I was growing up, you keep one to rock and one to stock. Okay. So I keep one pair here and then I have an attic where I keep uh, all the other pairs that are rare or I want to keep on ice for a little while. Vic, thanks so much for inviting us in your crib. No as problem. you guys can see, you saw the heat he has on his shelves. And uh, go out and buy his Nike Air Trainer Cruise when they drop. Two pair, get two pair of each. <laughs> <laughs>